Hi, I'm Rosalina Kiviti and I'm with the Center for Teaching and Learning and uh, really exciting things going on here where uh, and here is uh, Professor Dan Ng. Thank you. Teaching and, at School Media Studies and IT. Yes, and uh, we have been um, working together in terms of a teaching learning project and uh, Dan is really excited about um, looking into action learning approaches and mm -hmm. using those with um, his students or learners. And it's so exciting, Dan, around how you uh, want to uh, accommodate different learning styles and, uh, right, right. And, and, and so on. Yeah, so I think you highlighted the key objectives here quite nicely. Um, can you see that from there? Yeah. We're gonna, okay, so we're going to facilitate learning outcomes by accommodating individual styles and competencies. We're going to explore the feasibility of providing alternative and um, uh, additional evaluation streams for not just the teacher but uh, oneself. And this is to, of course, achieve uh, course learning outcomes. Uh, third, we're going to uh, look or examine the interplay between learning styles, inter intercultural uh, tendencies. And finally, we're going to develop an action based uh, learning prototype, which of course will occur over the next couple months. So exciting. And yes, yeah, you can see here, Dan has, um, uh, you know, in the formative process here, uh, we've been creating and recreating this. Isn't that That's right? right. Dan? Yeah. That's why that board's such a, a hodgepodge there. That's exactly it. And, and we've been writing in and clarifying different things. Like, for example, uh, around whether we're uh, working uh, to help students and learners adapt or be transformative or a combination of the two. That's right. And you I like the way you've drawn that Venn diagram and isolated on the moments of transformation because that's very consistent with my own belief and understanding how that might happen. And the really exciting thing, Dan, you were talking about is uh, in going through this whole process that it's made you uh, reflect upon um, uh, the different components of the uh, course outline uh, in terms of uh, participation and the importance of self-reflective that yeah. you were... I, th I think what was really good, so it's the phone there, what was really good is I examined the, uh, the three uh, key elements of action, thinking, and reflection, and that, that circle, how it goes around. I think that was a great framework that you got us on. Well, and, and it's wonderful how you were able to build on that in regard to what's actually happening in the course based on um, what you've craft, crafted in the mm -hmm. course outline around knowledge, skills, and attitudes and locating that, but actually in grounding it and what yes, you're yes. actually doing. Yes. And I love this here, Dan, that you added around... Yeah, this is what, what this is, is what I call learning curve, right? So at the beginning, say some of my students who are programmers are at this part here at this point, and then maybe 30 years later on this axis, they'll be at this point. And the trick is to, for them, on a self-assessment basis, determine where they are on this curve. So at the beginning, the first job, maybe they're just programmers, and they have very limited ability to be technically leading teams. But over here, maybe perhaps later on, five years down the pipe or whatever, their ability to program may be still there, but now they have this additional leadership capability, a level one type leadership level. So it's kind of looking at that from their own perspective on where they are in that curve over the next 30 years. So really, it's been really exciting, Dan, how um, you know, you're navigating through um, the impact that you, know, you want, you're looking at in terms of lifelong learning processes. That's and right. And I think the key point, and I, I think you isolate quite nicely, it's an ongoing process. So as, just as this is an ongoing process, which has sort of no beginning and end, lifelong learning is like that. And one of the things that we talked about, and I liked how you tried to draw this back to the, uh, the course outline, is this participation um, evaluation outcome. And that I'm going to capture through this piece here, this reflection piece, and how, how it links quite nicely to lifelong learning. In other words, reflection allows, facilitates lifelong learning. And that is really the key part of what I believe that, you know, my job is with my students. So we're really, you're, you're really working uh, hard here in building this, um, you know, looking at how we can do things better, how, you know, you can change what you're already doing uh, in a way that meets 
the outcomes that you're looking for. Yeah. One thing that I, I wanted to share with you, and it was for me a very instructive process, is that you talked about the terms of reference, and you talked about change, evolve, and ongoing. And that's how I s realized that I had been working on the premise of adaptive, which embraces these two pieces, versus transformative, which talks about really an evolution part. Right? So that was a very interesting you know, kind of trigger for me to get those two terms in really better place in my mind. That was a very, uh, I thought it was a very constructive device for that. Great. Well, um, stay tuned and uh, stay tuned for uh, the next installment and uh, how right. this exciting project is going to uh, evolve based on Dan's grassroots experiences with his students. All right. Until next time. Hey, thank you, Rosalina.